Good morning. All right, so today we are doing a winter day in the life. And this is a collaboration hosted by my friend Kristen over at My Cathedral Garden. And so definitely check out the playlist, check out her channel, and I hope you enjoy our busy first day of school winter day in the life. It was a crazy busy day. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna sit down and have breakfast. We're still working our way through making brothers and sisters best friends. Um, we are also going to be doing our truth and grace in our morning menus. We are going to be doing our morning menus while we have breakfast. I have a video coming out tomorrow on Plan Prep, Plan Prep Pray, which is my other channel, talking all about um, our morning menus and what is included in it. But they're ready to eat and waiting for me to pray. So let's go. God, thank you for the wonderful day and the wonderful love. I love you so much when you do done. I so love you. Amen. Now you know when somebody start praying too long, you just gotta end that prayer. <laughs> Sila's always good for that. But um yeah, so breakfast was prepared by my oldest and then we sat down and got to work. I love taking the opportunity while their mouths are full and busy to get to get to get straight into our morning menus. Um, we eat and we sing and we pray and we laugh and we just have this wonderful time of fellowship. Afterwards, we clean up and head on over to our reading spot and I get my 45 minute <laughs> pedaling in while I read to them and we do our Bible time. We are currently reading through one book of Proverbs a day, as well as using the child training Bible to go through one training thing, whether it's anger, fear, fighting, dis out, disobedience, whatever the situation is, and reading our read aloud. All right, so we're all going to start working on um, our first math. So I grabbed my math books for my two older ones, and um, they're going to be doing their speed drills. And then my youngest is going to be working on counting numbers from uh, Rod and Staff. So we're going to be doing some math, and then we're going to take a break and go outside for a little bit and come back and have snacks and finish off school. I should mention that he's also doing JDA's preschool beginner math. This is a little, like he's four, so he's a little too big for this. But so I have, he does two pages every single day of this as well. A lot of my kids do two maths, um, but this is what he has to do. So it's pretty much, it's not I'm difficult gonna do this at all. One, um, this one. Yeah, baby, we're going to do both. And then he'll do two pages of the rod and staff. I guess his little sister got in here, but he'll do two pages of the rod and staff as well. Um, my son does teaching textbooks and CLE, and my daughter does the math reading eggs program, as well as, one second baby, my daughter, my um, second grader does the math reading eggs program, as well as um, CLE. So all of my kids do two maths. Um, math is kind of my thing, and none of them, it's not too overwhelming or too um, much for them. They enjoy it. So, um, so this is like our math time where everybody's gonna be doing math before we go outside because math is best done early in the morning. All right, put the right coin in the right piggy bank. You're gonna draw a line from the piggy bank to the coin. All right, you guys ready for your speed drills? All right, I'm gonna set a one minute timer. Let's go. Minute and counting. Go. So this is a very new thing for me to be doing math all together, but I find it really refreshing that all of us are doing the same thing at the same time. And yes, I'm still pedaling. I have 20 more minutes. <laughs> all right, so we just got back from our, from our walk and now is, sorry, that's my dog. Now is our afternoon lesson time. 
And so this is where the juggling act begins. So this is the thing that I'm gonna, I was a little nervous about, but we got this. All right, so I'm gonna be working with my um, pre-K four student while my son, my oldest works on his independent work and my, my daughter, my seven-year-old is going to be working with my two-year-old teaching her some things. So let's see how it comes together. All right, so my daughter is going yeah. to be, um, shy, shy, please. My daughter is going to be um, reviewing with my youngest her shapes and numbers and letters. So that's what she's gonna be teaching her and working with her. And then they're gonna be doing a couple of the activities in this bin. I have a video going over some stuff that are in this bin um, for my other channel, so I will link that up above. Independent work is really the secret sauce to how I can teach multiple grade levels. And I just incorporated them teaching the baby because it just helps to keep her <laughs> distracted. <laughs> A is the first vowel we will say as the short vowel sound of A. Good job, baby. So now let's say it together. You're gonna repeat after me, okay? Say A is the first vowel we will say. Good job. Okay, so I'm gonna be working with my daughter on her new IEW work as well as first language lessons and while I do that um, with her my preschooler is working on his reading eggs work and my and the baby is being read a story and playing with some some bears while her big brother reads her story and then her big brother is going to be working on reading eggs with her as well um, while I work with her. So, working so far. It's going good so far. <laughs> we have just begun using IEW and we are loving it so far. I love the sitting down and going one-on-one -on -one with her when it comes to writing. And it's a very different way of teaching writing and we are loving it. Now, at the same time, he, I'm helping him with his reading eggs and uh, whenever he gets stuck and um, helping her with her her structure and style. First language lessons, we love. It's very gentle in its approach. So I was just explaining that he is beginning his structure and style and his IDW. This is my 10 year old. And while he is listening, I'm going to be preparing lunch. And while I'm preparing lunch, listening over what he's listening to. That way we're both learning how to write. <laughs> And then he is going to be working on his reading and a little bit of tracing. And once he's done with that, then he's gonna be building blocks with his little sister who's building blocks right now. And then she is working on her reading eggs um, while we do all that. So that's the next, like, what do you guys call Like station, <laughs> is it station? So this was last night's dinner, and I'm just gonna separate it and put it into plates for lunch. So let me know in the comments, do you reuse dinners or leftover dinners for lunchtime? To me, that is just a life-saving hack. Like if I could make enough food for dinner that there is lunch the next day, I did something. I, I, I'm the bomb.com. <laughs> No, but it just helps for a faster day, especially when um, you're doing so much with so many different kids when it comes to school. Um, I just don't really have the time to like make a gourmet lunch, you know, but I try, I try, you know, to hook, hook up dinner, make gourmet dinners now that I'm a bread maker. <laughs> Little ones have finished eating lunch. Usually on most days we will eat lunch all together and do science or history, but we're not doing science or history today on our first day. So they um, just finished eating lunch and they are watching preschool prep 
and doing colors today. Um, I will link the preschool prep DVDs in the description. All right, so she is done with reading eggs, so she's going to be doing her Kumon, her independent work, which is her Kumon coins and her Kumon time, so telling time and working with money. And he now gets to do his reading egg lesson. So usually at this time we would be doing science and spelling you see, but we're not gonna be doing that today. Um, uh, number one, we're an hour behind <laughs> our schedule. Number two, um, it's just a lot. Everything was new today. So we're gonna not do that today. Right now I'm putting, I'm gonna be putting the little ones to bed. And while I put them to bed, I, I am going to be doing work unto others, the parent guide. So I'm gonna be doing my parent devotional while my oldest does his work unto others devotional. And my uh, seven-year-old does her work unto others devotional. And then we're gonna come discuss and then we're gonna do quiet time together. I love the fact that we have this devotional that we're doing all together and we get the morning time to center us and get us in the word and then the afternoon time to recenter us. It's a beautiful thing. After our devotional time, we take 10 minutes, do one-on-one -on -one time with mommy and it's whatever they wanna do. And my daughter wanted to get outside and paint. So we got outside for 10 minutes and we painted together. And as you can tell, I am clearly an artist. <laughs> the two youngest get their special time as soon as they wake up from their nap. I'll read them a story or play a 10 minute game with them, but everybody gets 10 minutes of undivided attention for mommy every single day. <laughs> well, at least that's what we try to aim for. No one's perfect. <laughs> my oldest my son he just wanted to go on a walk and talk so we just walked up and down the street and had a fun time talking and joking around all right so we are done with our school day my um older two are listening to audible right now and the babies are still napping i'm gonna jump in the shower i'm doing 75 heart phase one so i've got to go take a ice cold five minute shower and, um, <laughs> and so yeah super excited about that so i'm about to <laughs> hop in the shower and then i'm gonna be cleaning up and getting ready for dinner and all the other things that i do in the afternoon but uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the playlist. I know this wasn't very wintry because, um, yeah, I live in Florida. But <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, bye.